Hey guys, this is an introduction to a project that we've been working on for a few years now and we'd like to cover more of in the future. The fuzzy looking critters on your screen are mice, but not the kind that sneak into your house at night. These mice are specially bred over many generations to be friendly, smart, and well behaved. I know this because, well, I raised them. In fact, I took care of their great-great-grandparents' great-great-grandparents. Visually, the most obvious traits to recognize in this breed is that they have a shiny yellow coat. Well, mice in the wild look more like this. Their shiny coat is thanks to a simple recessive trait known commonly among mouse fanciers as satin. The so-called satin mutation causes the individual hairs to be hollow and more reflective. Genetic modifiers control this trait from a simple sheen to an oily matted coat, so we took great care to select only the best individuals for each generation. Normally when you see a yellow, orange, or red mouse, it is thanks to mutation known as lethal yellow. Lethal because only heterozygous carriers of the trait ever make it out of the womb. Lethal yellow mice tend to be obese and paranoid with many health problems. The mice here are of a more rare type. This is a laboratory mutation known as recessive yellow. It is a simple recessive, like satin, so it only shows up when the individual is homozygous for the trait. This trait was a lucky accident for us. Two of our original mice were secretly carrying the gene. It showed up in their first litter and we spent the next year isolating it, combining it with satin, and breeding out some unwanted recessives the line had picked up, like broken markings and Berkshire markings. At this point the line is well on its way to becoming a purebred one. This is very important to lab work, as it allows the researchers to work with many individuals without having to deal with the wide spectrum of behavior and health makeups of a genetically diverse population. That topic is more the department of the lovely Addie, your usual host, as she has worked for many years with these animals in a world-class laboratory and has been published many times. I'm a professional designer, and as a hobby, I experiment with artificial intelligence, genetic programming, and electronics. And my goal is to build an enclosure that can accurately track the behavioral and navigational patterns of these animals in order to build up a data set. I could use this data set for scoring a population of neural network based artificial life forms. Individuals who behave more like real mice score higher and are allowed to reproduce, filling a slot left by a lower scoring individual. Over time, the population will become more mouse like. I'd love to hear all of your ideas for how to collect this data, how to track the mice, how to keep track of when they last had food, when they last played in the wheel, and when they last had a drink of water. You get the idea. So please let us know. You can leave a comment on this video's YouTube page, a video response, or let us know on Twitter at TYMKRS. We'll take the best ideas and post some proof of concept videos.